Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to look at three of the most common errors that you will see when working with running child flows in Power Automate. Now you can see on my screen, I have these two errors. The first is update the child flow for action, run a child flow to end with a response action. And the second one is about using run only user connections. So we're going to deal with both of these. Well, they both have to do with your child flow and how it's configured. So this is the child flow that my parent flow is referring to. And in order to fix this, what you need is an action that responds to a power app or flow. So that's going to resolve the first error here. It needs to end with a response action. So in this case, I've added this response action in a parallel branch because I'm not sending any information back to my parent flow, but I still need to have this action in here. So this action, if you click, if you want to set it up like I did, you can set it up in a parallel branch. So you could click here and then add parallel, add parallel branch. But in this case, I'm just going to demonstrate here what you're searching for. So if you look for respond to a power app, it's going to be this power apps connector here. So you're going to select that one. And then you don't have to configure it further unless you're trying to pass information back to your parent flow without adding anything. It's still going to work uh, and it will complete your parent flow. So now that I've done that, I just go ahead and I save here and I publish. So that's going to resolve our first flow. So if we go back here and I'm going to close this, I'm going to save again. Let's see what happens. So it cleared out that error, but we still have our not use run only user connections error. So to solve that one, we'll go back to our child flow and we're going to go back to our homepage here and you can see on the right hand side, there's this run only users. And if we click edit on here, this is what it's referring to here. It's referring to this section down here where it says connections used. These connections will provide the users listed here to have run only access to this flow. So the only way we can get this child flow to run is if we switch to use this connection here instead of having it set to provided by run only user, we need to select an actual connection here. So I want to do that and I'm going to click OK there and then on this one as well. And any more that you might have as far as connections and then let's save here. Now, once we save here, nothing is going to change on the home page. So down here, you see run only users. It's, the messaging is still the same. But now that we've done that, let's go back here and close the flow checker and click save. And let's see if that takes care of that. Boom, there we go. So now the last error that I want to show you, there's actually a possibility of you having a third one. I'm going to toggle to the new designer. I'm going to save and switch. And I'm going to show you one additional error that you might run into. So everything's saved, right? In the classic designer. But if we scroll down, we see this error here, failed to retrieve dynamic inputs, error details, parameter, workflow, reference name cannot be found for this operation. Now there might be a way to resolve this, but you know, one thing that you'll know when you run into this error is that when you select your flow, you won't be able to select your uh, inputs that you set up in your child flow. And I don't know that there's any way around this error other than toggling to the classic designer. So we have these errors here in the new designer, but if we toggle to the classic designer, those errors will disappear. So we go down here, we can open this up and we can see our input is still here. For that one, we do have one more here in this side, this condition, and that one works as well. So that will resolve the errors that you'll get with the class, with the new designer. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.